guys, welcome into another tutorial. My name is Patlon. So, if you're new to this channel, guys, please do not forget to subscribe and also remember to turn your notification bells on. That is the only way you get notified anytime I upload a new video. To my subscribers, I say very big thank you, guys. I really appreciate. I am so grateful. I really, really, really appreciate your support. Thank you so, so much for always stopping by. On today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this um, simple um, gown for a child of about five years. And it's quite simple and straightforward, actually. It's going to be a sleeveless um, flare gown. And um, I'm not going to be using any liner. I mean, this is the only fabric I'm going to be working with. That what even makes it more simpler okay and these are the materials i'm using the fabric beautiful african print as you can see um my measuring tape scissors um chalk and um, some pins and then um, this bias tape which i'll be using to tape the neckline and of course the armhole line okay so setting this aside I have some little bits, just a little calculation, just to, um, you know, for explanation. Now here, the full length of this gown is 28. The bust measurements I'm working with is 24. The waist is 23. The full length, as you can see here, is 28. The half length is 11. So here I have um, the sketch of this gown. You can see from here to here is the full length, which is 28. From this side to here is the half length, which is 11. So getting the lower part is going to be the full length minus the half length. That gives me 17. And that is what we have here. 28 minus 11, I have 17. Okay. Now, getting my, um, uh, my flare, because I want to cut the lower part first, which is the flare part. So that's what I'm working with. So I'm going to work with the, of course, the length of the lower part, which is 17. But before that, I'm going to add one inch. This one inch here is the allowance I'm putting for the lower part. I used to hem it at the lower part. Then, of course, this half inch is what I'm using to join it to this upper part of the dress. So this together gives me what? 18.5. Okay. Now, um... For the circumference, I need the circumference of um, the waist, which is um, 23, as you have here. So 23 here, I'll add one inch, one inch for zip allowance, okay? And um, 23 plus one inch, that gives me what? Um, 24. That's why I have this 24 here. Then this 24, because it's a full circle, I want the full circle, I'm going to put in a square form. I'll divide it by 6.28, okay? Because it's a full circle. So that gets me 3.7. I'll approximate it to 4, okay? Now I have my circumference of 4, right? So this 4 inches, I'm going to add it to this 18.5 inches we already have here, okay, for the full length, the, the length of the lower part. The 4 inches plus 18.5 inches gives me what? 22.5, as you can see. So this is how we are going to fold um, for our flare, 22.5. Five. So I'm going to set this aside. Having that in mind, I'll, this is my fabric, so I'm just going to fold it um, in square form to get 22.5. And um, because the um, the print usually comes by 45, so which is the um, good. So on this side, automatically I've gotten that part. I'll just use the whole of the fabric. So here I'll get, um, try to get 22.5 on this side. Just a little bit more. Okay. Fold it into four. Remember, I said in square form. Make sure it's properly aligned so that you don't have um, any fold. So 
So here I have my square of 22.5. On this side, I have 22.5, which is good. Placing my tail to at this edge. Okay. Here I have to. So I'm just what I'm going to do now is just to take the circumference of 22.5 all the way. So I place my tail at this edge and start marking um, 22.5. at the edge okay so the next thing I'm going to do now is just to connect the points I have made And here, okay, so I'm going to cut this out. So I have this. So the next thing, of course, I'm going to do now is to come to this edge here and cut out my circumference. Remember the circumference we had here was um, 4 inches. Remember, this circumference we calculate when we divided it to the waist measurement plus zip allowance divided by 6.28, we got 4 inches. So I'm just going to put it, my tape here again at this edge and mark out 4 inches all the way as you see me doing. Okay, connect the point. You might want to also check if you place your table like this and get your curve. Here I have uh, over 6.5 because it is folded into 4. That's 13. Uh, 6.5 times 4. That's about uh, 26, which is even you know more than uh, what we calculated. For our waste, remember the waste was simply added the balance of the so there's going to be even an excess to even trim out. Here, okay, so here I'm just going to cut this out. Okay, here we have it. Then I will um, split open one side. Okay, I would like to notch the center. Okay, and so we have this ready for the lower parts. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, setting this aside, we'll now focus on cutting the upper part. And um, remember, the bust measurement is um, 24, the waist is 23, the half length is um, 22. The half length is 11, sorry, 11. So I'm going to fold with the biggest part, which is the boss, which is 24. Remember, if you divide the 24 by 4, what will have is 6. Then I'm going to be putting an allowance of, say, about 1.5 inch. That's about 7.5. So that's going to help me know how to fold my fabric. From here now, I need to get uh, so about 7.5 here. And uh, okay. I think we are good to go. Okay. So 
So I'll just mark out the starting point to work with. Okay. So having this in place now. Now remember we said the half length is 11. So I'm going to add um, half inch on the upper part for joining of the shoulder and uh, say about half inch as well for the lower part. So what I need here is 12. Okay, so I'm going to mark out 12 for the, for the half length. So this is what I am working with. This from here to here, every measurement here is what um, I'm going to require. So now, the shoulder measurement for this child is uh, 11, yeah? Then divide it by two. Now, but further, let me do the three by eight inches mark so I can get my shoulder slope. Remember that, please watch my video on, on how to create a body pattern. It's very, very detailed. With that, everything, creating this, it's very, very easy, okay? So here I have my shoulder slope. And like I said, the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 11 divided by 2. That is 5.5. Um, okay. Then I'm going to add half inch here. Okay. So here I have 6 inches. Now, this, the arm hole, the round arm hole is um, 12. Yes. Then divide it by two, that's going to give me six. So I have six. Okay. okay. So on this line now, this ammo line, this is where I'm going to be taking my bust measurement. So on here, the bust is 24. Divide by two is 12. Divide by two again, that's six. So I'll take note of six inches and add, um, say, one and a half inch allowance. It's okay. Then on the lower part, which is the waistline here, is um, 23 divided by 4, that's 5.75. Okay, and also add um, one and a half inch allowance. Okay. Then creating my shoulder slope, what I have here is um, 6. So I'll just mark out this 6 inches so that I can get an angle 90 degree to give me my uh, shoulder slope. So here I have my slope and from here to here I have about five and, in, five and a half inches. If I get the midpoint of that, that is about 2.67. I'm doing this now so that I can get my front arm hole. Okay. It's important to watch the video I did for how to make a uh, the body's pattern, like that's just the basis of this. It's very, very simple. So here now is for my front arm hole, and from here, I'll just take it this way. This for my back arm hole. So here, that's it. Then of course, I connect this to my waist measurement, the boss to the waist measurement, like so. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. Then of course, coming to this part, the neckline, the neckline, I'll do three inches, okay, let me do three inches for the neck width, then for the neck depth, mm, I'll also do, say about three inches too, to be fine, so this is for the front neckline, so I'll connect it like so. Then for the back neckline, I want it to come down a bit to say four inches for the back neckline. Yeah. So that I will do so maybe like a V-neck. I'll do a V-neck for the back neckline. So taking on top, I'll definitely cut that one separately. Okay, but just take note, this one is for the front uh Neck. I already have it all cut out. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just to cut this out. Okay. 
first of all, I'm going to cut for the back arm bone. Be sure not to cut this one first. After I have cut out my back piece, then I can now trim it out. So I like to leave this way like this. Then fold for my back piece. Remember, I'm going to have um, a zip allowance here of about one inch. Okay. So I'm just going to place this like this. Taking note of um, a zip allowance of one inch. And I want to take note of that. Okay, so I have this place here like this, so I can cut out for my back piece. So I'll just cut out exactly what I have here. Now, this is the uh, neck root, and I want to take note of that, so I will notch it. Remember, the back um, neckline is going to be deeper, so I want to take note of this part, okay? So, at this point now, um, also take note of this, this long edge here, so I can now take off my front piece and finish up with the back piece. So, here, I'll just notch this part. This shows uh, the zip uh, allowance. I'm also going to open uh, the, this, the back side. Oh. Okay, so taking note of where we notched for this uh, the neck width, remember I said the neckline is going to come down by four. Okay, and I want it to be um, not V neck, yeah. Or a little bit of curve. Let me make it a curve, curve leg. This to be fine. Okay. Then I'll just cut it out. I think I'm going to a little bit deeper. And um, yeah. So this is it for the back piece. Okay. Now coming back to the front piece. At this point, I can now cut out my front uh, neckline like this, and of course, cut out the the front uh, arm hole. And um, that is it, guys. We're done. We're done with the cutting. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do now is just to join the parts, which is, you know, very, very easy. So coming down to this, now see the, the piece this way. So I'll just go, what I'll do now, this is where I'll use my bias tape. I'm just going to use it to hem uh, the neckline for the front and of course for this back neckline as well okay the back neckline the front neckline i'll hem it with the bias tape and also the arm bow, okay the same thing for the front piece okay so when i'm done with that the next step now will be to join the part so i'm just going to place it like this and of course like this then so remember we have half an inch allowance to sew it on the shoulder part. So I'm going to sew half inch this way, half inch this way. Let me quickly demonstrate this with a pin. That's after you must have hem the neckline and the arm hole. Then sew with half an inch, half an inch on the shoulder part. Okay. When you're done with that, then of course. Having it in place like this, remember at this point now, they are still overlapping each other. This back is overlapping each other. At this point now, you take your, your measurements, your bust measurements, whatever it is you have, okay? Like the bust measurements I'm working with now is, uh, we said 24, divide by 2 now is 12. So what I have here is about um, 16. So that means I have 
um, two inch allowance to sew up on the other side. So because this is a child, usually I don't want to make it so tight. I'll just need a little bit of allowance. So instead of sewing two inch, I'll just sew one and a half inch. So in this part, I'll sew one and a half inch. On here, I'll mark one and a half inch, okay? Then coming down to the waist as well, you take note of the measurement. You know, the waist is um, 23 divided by 2, that's 11.5. And here, so the same thing here, I'll also sew about one and a half and um, one and a half, okay? So once I'm done stitching um, the side, okay? As you see me demonstrating with a pin, Once I'm done stitching the side, okay, the next thing now you will have it this way, okay, you have it this way. The next thing I'm going to do, of course, is to fold it into two, get the notch part, the center part up here, you get the center, as you can see. So this is what we have to work with now. Get the center part. Then, the circle that we cut, which is the lower part, we are going to place it on it. Remember, we also notch the center of the circle. So, they are just going to match each other. Match each other with the, with the notch. And sew from here to the end. And from here to the end. And that is it, guys. Like like I said, this is straightforward. We don't, we don't add in any lining or anything to it. That is it. So, when that is done, of course... The next thing is just to, you know, fix the zipper at the back. And trust me, this outfit is as good as ready. Then, of course, I'm also going to fold the lower part of this. It's that simple. Straightforward, simple. Something you can do for yourself. Like, in less than 45 minutes, you're done with both cutting and sewing. Everything I'm explaining here is just how it is, you know. That is it, and add the zipper at the back. And of course, if you want to put any form of design or whatever, it depends on you, okay? So I'm just going to go to the machine, finish this up, and I'll come back to show you um, the finished look of, of this dress. All right. So guys, um, this outfit is almost ready. I've joined the parts, the neckline neatly hemmed, and also the armhole. If you look at the... Um, the lower to the upper part, I also joined it, okay? And the inside was neatly whipped at the side as well for a neat finishing. Then also the hem line, as you can see, have been properly hemmed. This half is almost ready. Um, to note that at the sh shoulder part, I ended up reducing about half an inch because I didn't want the shoulder to be too bold. It looked bold, um, too much for me. So I just reduced like half an inch from it, okay? Okay, so I'll just have it about one and a half inch there, which is okay for a sleeveless. Okay, so the only thing left now is just to fix in the zipper at the back, and this outfit will be ready. Just the zipper. Um, if I like, I might add a little bit of um, applique or make a pull or something. I've not decided yet, okay? But after the zipper, this beautiful dress is ready. And of course, I'll go finish it off, and I'll come back to show you the final look, okay? So guys, and this is the finished look of this beautiful dress. Simple and stylish at the same time. It's something you can make for yourself very easy. You saw how you all did it. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please don't forget to share my video. Give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Till I see you on the next video, guys. Bye.